There were two people, Adam and Eve, and they had two children, Cain and Abel. Cain kills Abel, and then obviously he's afraid when he's found out um, that he gets banished out of the garden and he's afraid that people are going to kill him. And the question was, or should be, who are these people if at that time there's only mum and dad and him and his brother? Um, but the, the thing is that the Bible doesn't give you the full story because it actually goes back to the An Anunnaki stories of Enki and Enlil. This is the same story that becomes your Cain and Abel stories, becomes your Esau and Jacob story, and is passed over, over and over and over throughout the ages. So Cain was actually a son of Nana, right? Um, and Nana's name, one of his other names, is known as Sin. This is why it says Sin stands at the door. So that that was a um, initiation. Cain and Abel were being put through an, an initiation and um, Abel offered vegetation, right? And Cain offered meat and the meat wasn't accepted because remember these extraterrestrials, as we've mentioned before, they like to eat human flesh. Just like humans like to eat chickens and, you know, beef and all of that. They also, in the food chain, they prefer human meat. So you have the Anunnaki, but you have disagreeable Anunnaki and you have agreeable Anunnaki. The disagreeable ones is what is referred to as the Anakim. Um, and so they like to eat blood meat. And if you read the Bible right throughout, they're asking for offerings. You see um, blood, just, just Google or search the Bible for blood and you will see where they are asking for offerings, burnt offerings, um, blood is being sprinkled over altars and they like the smell of blood, the sweet saviour when um, the carcasses are burnt. So what we're basically saying is that because his offering was refused, Cain that is, he got all, like I said before, all angry and, and all he had to do is go back and try and make another offering and prepare a meal. But because his father's name is Sin, he basically got upset and then killed his brother. There's so much more to the story when we go into the cannibalism and um, why these beings like to eat, you know, flesh. Um, and we call that whole doctrine food for the gods. Um, I don't know if you want to add anything more to that. Yeah, the, yeah, the, the question should be why was Cain's um, offering rejected? Mm. That's, that's, that's the question. Did, they, did the God of the Bible like eating flesh? Because you've got human beings, I, I know that's going to sound crazy for some people, like God eating flesh and all that, but you've got human beings on the planet that, that eat human beings, you know what I mean? So it's not so far-fetched for extraterrestrials, because that's what we need to get explaining. These beings that you're calling God's allies, Jehovah's, Yahweh, Malachi angels, these are extraterrestrials. They didn't originate from here, so they came from outside there. And that actually ties into what people refer to the 200 fallen angels, right? Mm. Because if you read Revelation 12, 7, it says there was a war in heaven and Michael and his angels fought against the dragon and his angels. Mm. And they were cast down here to the planet Earth. When you look at the word dragon, it ties into Draco or the Draco constellation, where these draconian beings are coming from, right? So the question, going back to your original question, is that when he was banished and he said, people are going to kill me. God said, don't worry, I'm going to put a mark on you, right? And he put a mark on his face. The mark was actually the swastika. And he went out, where he went was called the land of Nod. Um, in the language, it's actually pronounced as Nud. But Nod is where these 200 fallen angels were residing. And when you nod, is to fall asleep because the, the, the spell of Kingu, or it's called the spell of sleep, is where you had these disagreeable beings because they already were disagreeable. And this is why they were fighting with the dragon um, against Michael, Melchizedek or Mikael, who in the Sumerian doctrine is known as Murduk or Murdoch. And, and that's why he had to go to the land of Nod because those people were already disagreeable beings and they were eating flesh and killing and murdering and doing all kinds of things. So that whole story about Cain and Abel 
you know, there's a lot more, there's a lot more to it. But yeah, that's, that's kind of the gist of the story in terms of um, why Cain killed Abel, because he wasn't accepted into the order of Zodok. Because you have two orders. You had the order of um, Nana and you had the order of Zodok. Zodok means Zedek, like I said, Melchizedek, but that's what the word Zodok, which means peace and justice, which deals with righteousness. And the other order, this is where it's like, you got to choose, do you serve, you can't serve two masters. Do you, sell, do you serve the devil or do you serve God? And Michael is the archangel of all the, the angels um, that they say is around the throne of, you know, of, of God. So we're in that same day and time now where you got to take a stand. Which side do you stand on? Do you stand on the side of the disagreeable, because this world is actually crumbling, mm. you know, and you see every day with all the things that are going on, you know, cost of living crisis, wars are going on, famine, you know, the viruses, and it's a new change that's coming, the transformation, and some people are not going to make it if they're not going to raise their vibration. So, yeah, you've got to choose. Do you stand with God or the devil? And this is what Cain and Abel were doing. It's like... Cain obviously chose to go the disagreeable way because he ended up killing his brother, um, which, which he didn't really have to do.